Well, I just want to make sure everybody knows that, man, there's so many new COVID grant programs just popping up like mushrooms all over the country. But, you know, people are just looking at Washington and that's it. You can't do that. You can't do that. I mean, here's a half a dozen or a dozen or more just today that I got notified about. Uh, here's one in, in North Carolina. Now, this is for higher education. So they have grants for people to make sure they could finish college. It's a brand new program, you know, a COVID program. So that's cash in your pocket. You know, here's another one in uh, uh, the Department of Commerce in Washington State, Veterans Affairs. What are they doing? Oh, OK. They have a recovery grant. Uh, for veterans, okay, if you're a veterans organization, you're trying to help veterans, they have a, you know, $1.7 million, you know, uh, if you're helping veterans somewhere. Wow, that's a good, and you know, veterans are, you know, really need a lot of help. Okay, here's another, uh, and this is brand new again, the recovery funds in Alabama. All the counties are getting this grant money to give out. You got to be aware of this because they're not going to come to you. OK, and I'll put these links, all the links that I talk about here, they'll be in the discussion of the, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> in uh, YouTube. That's what it's called, YouTube. What happened to my picture? I don't know. But let me shrink it here. <laughs> I lost me. OK, here's another one. The congressman said about six million dollars for Shelby County. Where's that? Michigan? Wow. OK. Oh, Memphis. That's where that is. I knew I that. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> so six million dollars initiative for all kinds of problems that are going on in the county. Do you know that? No, you got to get on these mailing lists from your county governments, local governments, nonprofit organizations. Here, here's a half a million dollars awarded to 25 state organizations in, in Central Carolina. Oh, no, by the Central Carolina Community Foundation. So this is a nonprofit organization that's giving money you know, uh, to counties in, in, in Carolina. See, who would ask? So you're looking for Washington? Man, you got to think big. Okay, North Carolina. Another Carolina. New funding. Seek help for North Carolina. Uh, okay, post-secondary education. Maybe that's one I did already. I don't know. There's so much stuff. I can't keep track of Here's another one in Bangor, Maine. For micro businesses. These are people who are under five feet tall and start businesses. No, that's a tacky joke. No, this is people less than a five or fewer employees. This is grant money, local grant money in Bangor, Maine. Okay, what do you have? Uh, you got to find out. They're not going to tell you. You got to get it from them. IDA continues to accept approved COVID relief grant applications. Okay. They're still saying, okay, this is in Shenandoah County. Uh, it's okay to apply for these things. And this is business grant money. Okay. Here's a $30 million of Heinz Endowment grants include for art venues. So you got an art venue. You got an art uh, uh, you know, you're showing artwork, you're doing anything with art, you're performing artists. This has you know, been affected by the pandemic, $30 million uh, from this association. This is a brand new, uh, this has all just been notified, released in the last couple of days. Here, Governor Cooper in North Carolina. Boy, North Carolina's hopping, uh, ha has more money for school aid. And this is for for help relieve people to attend college. Boy, see, they're tough on higher education. That's great. The last last of the PPP loans. OK, so uh, there is money in the PPP. There's still money at the SBA PPP, but you have to know where it is. It, it, you have to go to the. Uh, 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 the, the banks that work with low income people and community development banks, that's who to apply. OK, I'll put this link in there. if You want to know more about that. Uh, Thirteen hundred apply for FEMA financial assistance. See, that's available up to nine thousand dollars. You got a funeral. Wow. So they they're announcing how many are applying for that. Uh, Indianapolis received uh, uh, what? Uh, Four hundred million dollars for relief and rental uh, rental aid. OK, that's different. Then the federal program, these are local programs that you have to know about it. See, so if you can't find in the feds, you got to go local. Go local, man. Cherokee Nation citizens get a cash of $2,000, right? So that's cash grants. That, that's a stimulus check, but not coming from the IRS. Looking for rent utility assistance from South Carolina. Here's where to go. I love telling people where to go. Okay, here, this is New York, a pandemic small business recovery grant. Look at Accept it starts June 10th. So this is, you get up to $5,000 to $50,000 of your small business uh, in, in New York. 5,000 on the 50. Application start June 10th. 
Get in line now. Don't wait. You know, uh, here's another one. The rental assistance. Finally, finally, <laughs> New York is going to have the rent, the national rental assistance program. You can apply for there. Finally. Wow. It's starting at June 1st. That's two more days. OK, <laughs> they're going to get it. It's otda.ny.gov. OK, uh, the rental assistance you need. Wow. I mean, they've been getting beat up for months because they couldn't get their act together. See, and that's what's amazing is this stuff is there, uh, but people don't know. <laughs> this is interesting how, how these, uh, because of the hate crimes uh, on uh, Asian Americans, uh, th these two people started a crowdfunding site to help Chinatown businesses. Man, $2 million. Just two people out of the blue. Man, they did it. Two young people, you know, uh, and they're millennials, they say, and all these businesses were closed and they raised $2 million for the business. So you never know. It's, you can't go to the normal stuff you think you go to anymore. Uh, it's happening somewhere else and you have no idea. Here, Idaho has $6 million of unclaimed property, $6 million. You got to get that on the front. Actually, I have a report for all the unclaimed property all over the government. So uh, if you go uh, to, uh, if you're a member, we'll give you that report. If you're not a member, it, it's on our free training website uh, to find out about that. So you, to rehab. Okay, this is cool. This is a nonprofit uh, giving homes to people who've been kicked out of their houses, lost their car, lost their home, everything. Uh, in Akron, Ohio, nonprofit organization has 60, 60 homes to make it affordable for these families who can't afford even a car to, to have a home. See, this is the kind of stuff that's out, having out there. I mean, it, but it, but but it, it it's down deep. You got to dig at it. It's not going to come to you easily, and most people don't know about it. So they'll say, "There's no program like that." Yeah, they don't know of any. <laughs> but you count. Start with them, and start, and then it, it, it's it's like being an investigative reporter or, or being a you know. A, uh, an inspector in the police force, you know, and solving crimes. That's what you have to do is crime. The crime is you're not getting the money. <laughs> so you got to go knocking door to door to find out, hey, has anybody seen somebody giving away money here? You go to the next door. Hey, has anybody seen giving money? That's the only way to solve this problem. Don't have, don't think the big fairy will knock on your door and give you money. You know? No, you got to do this work. <laughs> That's what I hope I do. Help you because you'll never find it in Google. Google. So at least start with these sources, see the kind of stuff that's there, and they just start banging on doors <laughs> where you live and seeing what's there. It's not, it's not easy. It's not going to come to you. You got to dig it out, baby.